Hey, my name is Andrew, and in this video, I'm talking about the Insta360 GO 3. This camera, in my opinion, is the best POV action camera that you can get right now. And so in this review, I'm gonna talk about all the features of this camera and everything you need to know to help you decide if this is the right camera for you. So starting off, the reason I think this is a great POV action camera is because of how small it is. And you might say it doesn't look any smaller than your like traditional action camera. And that is because right now it is in the action pod. With the push of a button, you can pull it out. So this tiny little camera is the actual camera and this is the action pod and they work really seamlessly. Um, if you wanna put it back in there, it's magnetic, boom back in the action pod. So that is right off the bat, the coolest feature of this camera. But let's talk about all the buttons and things on this camera. So on the top, you have a record button. On the side, you have a power button. You hold that down to power the camera on. You have a Q button, which if you're gonna be using this, like say skiing somewhere where you can't navigate on the back of the touch screen, you can use this Q button to navigate the different settings. On the left-hand side, you have that um, lock button which you press down to remove the camera and then you have a USB-C port here to charge it and transfer your data. On the bottom you have some mount points here for uh, some different accessories. We'll get into those in a second. And then you have a touch screen on the back to navigate all the different settings and that touch screen is also a flip up screen. So if you were going to do any vlogging, put it on a selfie stick and go down the ski slopes, that little flip up screen is super handy. So. That is basically everything on the camera itself. The action pod is not waterproof, but the camera itself is waterproof. That's super cool that you could like just take this little action camera and jump in a lake and it's not gonna get ruined. Of course, you don't wanna do that with the action pod. That is not waterproof. So let's talk about how the camera works. You obviously hold down the power button on the side. It takes it a second because it does have to pair to that actual camera. But after a second, boom, the camera is turned on. And from there, you can take it out of the action pod. So from there, you can take it out of the action pod and you can actually monitor the footage in real time. So there's lots of different features and uh, settings that you can tweak to make it look the way you want it to. For my kind of videos, I do like walk around street photography videos and I'll be showing some sample footage throughout this review so you can see what that looks like. But yeah, basically that is how the camera works. It's super easy. You hit the power button, you hit record, you're good to go. Now let's talk about the accessories that come with this camera. Some accessories that come with cameras are kind of like gimmicks, like you don't really end up using them, but all three of these accessories are super helpful and work really well with the camera. So let's talk about them. The first one, it's super handy if you're gonna be trying to get some really unique shots. This is like a traditional mount here for the camera and it's really cool how it connects. Just magnetically attaches to that mount. Um, the base of it is like a sticky mount so you can stick it on the front of a car or on a surfboard or something. Maybe not a surfboard because this isn't waterproof, but somewhere where you want to get like a cool shot and this is like kind of like a traditional mount here. And um, this actually unscrews on the bottom so you can connect this to like a selfie stick. So if you're gonna be doing any kind of like selfie shots, this is the uh, accessory you want, you want to use. And like I said, it just kind of magnetizes to it real quick and easy. And then you pull the tabs on both sides and release the action pod. Now the next accessory is this little pendant necklace thing. And what this is, is a accessory that you put on the inside of your shirt. And then on the inside of my shirt, it's right there. And then boom, it just magnetizes to it so I can get like a chest POV angle. And the third accessory, which is the one I use all the time, this is like my favorite accessory, hands down, is a hat attachment. So that basically clips onto the top of a hat. And then you take the action pod, magnetizes, boom, right in there. And then you can adjust the angle of it. So that is super handy that it's just clips on there. It's lightweight and like you can kind of tell it's there, but it's not like in your face. It's not super annoying. And so when I'm out in public, I don't really like people seeing that I'm filming. It's kind of awkward. So this is great for some shy videographers that really want to get that shot, but don't really want to draw a lot of attention to themselves. So like I said, boom, clip it up there. I can monitor it, make sure that the framing is right. And then I hit record, get my shot, turn it off, and then of course, when I just wanna go back to normal mode, I unclip it, put the camera back in the action pod, and uh, throw everything back in my sling bag, and I'm just back to normal life. And that is why I think this is the best POV action camera. That paired with the hat clip or the chest pendant, you're able to get some great shots, and if you're like wearing a black hat or a black shirt, that just blends in 
seamlessly. Now, one more thing, this does come in a white version and a black version. I opted for the black, more stealthy version because most of my clothing is more darker anyway, so it kind of blends in better. So now I wanna talk about some downsides and reasons why maybe you wouldn't wanna get this camera. Now, number one, it's, it's a little pricey. Coming in at $350, you can find maybe a used or refurbished one for a little less, but close to $300 for an action camera is on you know the pricier end of things, but I think the value is well worth it. I have used it for quite a few videos on this channel already, and you can go check those out if you want to see what it looks like. Number two, I kind of would expect this with a smaller camera, but the battery life isn't incredible. Sometimes when I'm out using the, the camera, um, I come to the point where I just have to cut the video because I'm running out of battery life. So that is kind of annoying. But again, it's something that I would expect from having a small camera is just a smaller battery and less battery life. But without question, the build quality and everything about this camera is super nice. Definitely recommend checking it out. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to. But that is it for this video. If you have enjoyed, hit the like button. If you have any comments or questions at all, leave those in the comment section below. And if you wanna watch other budget gear reviews, consider subscribing. And if you do, I'll catch you in the next video.